Hello Leo, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I'd also like to wish everybody um, a happy Halloween uh, and I'd like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a weekly reading for Leo from the 28th of October to the 3rd of November 2019. Please don't forget to watch Moon and Rising Sign for a more complete picture. If you'd like a personal reading, please go to my website jessmad.co.uk and book a reading. I've put the decks that I'm using in the description box and I put in links to Amazon and eBay so please follow these links to view or to buy the decks. And don't forget to watch my videos on Simple Energy Healing Remedies, my deck walkthrough series as well as my series on gemstones and crystals. You'll find those very, very interesting. So like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. Now I'm starting off with a general energy read and I'm going to be using the goddess, mythical goddess tarot for that. The first card is... Um, intention and this is about moving away from difficult situations this is six of swords um, you've got mercury sitting in aquarius so uh, you know you've gone through a lot of mental conflict over here a lot of problems a lot of drama there's been um you know dealing with uh, that all that conflict mercury is usually that uh, you know bringing about uh, unrest of the mind and with Aquarius being ruled by Uranus these are sudden things that have happened sudden crisis that have happened and you've had to deal with all of that now with the seven, six of swords you know you're, you're generally starting to move away from that situation the drama is definitely behind you but you're still carrying all that mental conflict all that problems all that drama all that stress is still coming with you um, so you know you, you you do need to take a little bit of a step back and sort your mind out as well. Uh, this is almost like having a post-traumatic stress disorder going on because you're going over that all the drama that happened in your mind. It's going you're going over and over in it, it again. And you know this in itself is causing sleepless nights. Uh, you know stressing you out and upsetting you. You've got the two of cups over here. So there's somebody around you that's going to be giving you that support that you need. It's the love card. You've got Venus in Cancer. So there's somebody that you love very much or loves you very much that's going to be there to give you that support and give you that little prop, that little shoulder to cry on. Somebody coming in there to help you out in this situation. You're leaning, you're going to be leaning on this person quite a bit for that support. You've got the fire card, the integrity card here, moon and a sun in a Sagittarius. Now the nine of rods is usually about all of these problems you've been fighting so many battles and you are so exhausted from it so tired so much of stress so much of strain and you can see that all of that is now coming to an end because you are now going to be moving forward you need to set an intention and stick to your guns um, you know stay in your integrity know what you want and go for it you got the fire card of you, the child, um, uh, which is the page of uh, rods. And this is about you having to deal with a lot of problems around you, but you are very focused on what you want. You know what you want. You know what you want to do. And you have been focusing your, on it, um, you know, despite all the drama and all the conflict that is going on around you. And then you've got the courage card over here, which is the seven of rods, and having to defend yourself, uh, you know, uh, You've got Mars sitting there in Leo. So this is where all your energy and focus has been. This is a pure Leo card. You can see they've even got the, the cat there. But, you know, you've had to draw on your inner reserves just to keep going. Uh, you know, you've had to have that courage. You have had to put all that energy with that Mars into yourself because it seems like, you know, there's almost been a loss of self there. There's been such a loss of confidence uh, and you've had to, you know, stick to what you believe in uh, and what you know was right in order for you to move forward. Or, or you know, you've had to defend yourself in a very, very difficult situation. You've got the Compassion card coming into the future, which is the Three of Cups. So uh, with this two of uh, cups and the three of cups, both of them are cancer cards, it looks like there's support from the home front. So on the work front, it looks like there's been a lot of chaos and drama. But on the home front, there's somebody around you that is very, very supportive. You've also got very, very supportive friends. This is a card of, uh, you know, people empathizing with you. Uh, they understand where you're coming from and you're able to take that energy that they're giving you, this healing energy in order for you to get over the situation. So people around you on the on on your personal life and your personal life are very supportive even though on um, you know um, to the world you're you're going through a lot of problems 
when dealing with your work situation but personally there are, are people around you that are there to support you now you've got that com uh, three of cups so there's some kind of celebration coming in you could be getting together with friends um but also um you know there could be uh, some kind of news that is coming in that's going to be really positive now you've got the temperance card here so this is talking about using all your skills you can see her putting everything there uh, alchemy is about you know the magic uh, of whatever you've learned, using all those skills to create what you want. So this, I feel, leads on from the Magician card. The Magician is having all the skills, but the Alchemy card or the Temperance card is taking all those skills, uh, blending them together and creating something quite magical. Uh, and this is also about refocusing, getting your goals back, uh, getting back on track, really, and taking any advice that anybody um, gives you as well, adding that to the mix uh, and coming up with a brand new plan, a brand new solution to problems. So that's what you're going to have to do. You have all the skills that you need. You have everything in hand. Uh, and you're going to have to just blend all of these things together and come up with a brand new plan. Refocus uh, or go back to your original idea, what you wanted to do originally, and put that um, you know, at the head uh, of your plans. Um, you know, make sure that it's about you. you. Focus on yourself and leave everything, all the drama behind and start doing what you want to do, doing what you know is right as well. And this is how you're going to be able to sort through these problems. Okay, so I'm going to just draw some cards from the zombie tarot, seeing that this is Halloween. <laughs> so let's see what it's got to say. Okay, so the bottom of the deck, you've got the Page of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and you've got the Queen of Swords over here. So, the Queen of Swords, and the one below it is the Chariot card. So there's been a, you know, a, a crisis that happened over here. You can see with that Chariot card, you're having to defend yourself over there. Um, you know, things have gone off course. So you had a plan and things are just or did just not work out the way you wanted it to. You're having to defend yourself. So you're waiting for some kind of a decision to be made. You might be waiting for legal decisions to be made. But this card is also calling for you to get your power back. You can see she's a little old lady. She looks like, you know, she's got no power and yet she's got a machine gun in her hand. So you didn't know that you had the strength within you and you do have it. Uh, you need to take those inner guns out and start shooting to get, um, you know, get your message across. Um, so you need to be very, very blunt and almost very, very brutal with that uh, Queen of Swords. You need to cut up that doesn't serve you, that which does not serve you. You need to cut it out, shoot it out of your life. Get it out of your life, really. And you need to be very ruthless in how you do it. Uh, don't let people take advantage of you over there with that Queen of Swords. Sh the Queen of Swords is usually a, a, a female that has gone through the mill. Oh, it's, it's a person that's gone through the mill. She's usually the divorcee of the tarot, uh, but it's a person who has gone through so much of conflict and you have got so much of battle scars over here. So you can see this is an old lady, so she's got a lot of experience as well. And people think that because she looks, uh, you know, um, very um, fragile, that she doesn't have what it takes uh, to get her message across. So you need to be that person who doesn't allow people to take advantage of you and you need to stand up for yourself. You've got the nine of cups over there. So you can see again, defending what you want because although she is, she's got this vision, this dream, this goal behind her, she still has got guns around and she's wrapped up in this little blanket over here. So you need to protect yourself, but you also need to defend yourself and you've got all the weapons you need to be able to sort through this problem. There's somebody that you're dealing with this page of swords, character here which is a very deceptive energy it's also somebody that's going behind your back and stirring up a lot of trouble as well you could be dealing with a legal issue there could be a lot of gossip that is going on around you but uh, something not very nice you can see this person sneaking around with a hatchet over here in their hands so somebody is there to stir up trouble cause problems for you and just be careful of this person they're behaving very childishly there uh, but uh, there's 
butterflies on the wall there so there's a lot of transformation that will come in for you but just be careful of this person they're not nice energy at all uh, you know they can cause your downfall quite quickly um, if you don't watch your back they're like you can see the shadows over here on the wall so this is almost like a shadow person they're doing things in a very sneaky kind of way and they're called there to cause your destruction so make sure you are defending yourself use all your ammunition that you have all your skills everything you have you need to pull out you know all the stops and defend yourself in the situation now what's going on around you <coughs> You've got the king of hazards and you can see that this is, you know, you, you're probably somebody who's got authority and power, but whatever is going on around you, something's being said or something's being done that's tying you up. It's tying up your money as well. Uh, it's, um, you know, you, it's almost like it's made you, it's disempowered you. So where you are in a position of authority, uh, it looks like something has been said possibly by this person who is the page of swords. Uh, that has got you all tied up and it's restricted your power. There's a tower moment over there. So this, uh, something's going to happen. There's a big uh, shift of energy over there, a big destruction coming up over there. You might be going through that at this particular moment. This is a crisis card. So something is coming in uh, that, or something has come in that's causing crisis at this time that's preventing you from doing anything or acting at the moment. It's really restricting your power. It's really disempowering you. Uh, you've got the Ten of Hazards over here. It looks like you want to end the situation of this work that you're doing or if you're uh, attached to some kind of job, it looks like you want that to come to an end or you may have ended that job at, at this time, but... It looks like with the Ten of Hazards, something has come to an end as far as that work cycle goes. There may have been money that was paid off, but it's definitely, uh, you know, breaking free of that financial uh, restriction. And you're taking control. You've got the Emperor card over there. You are defending everything that you've worked for as well. Uh, you know, the Emperor card is a very, very... Um, it's, it's an energy of somebody who needs to take control and authority. You need to organize your finances. You need to get control of that situation. Something has come in, some kind of crisis has come in that has completely tied you up, completely disempowered you over there. Um, you know, it's caused the tower moment. It's caused endings of situations. And it could all have been because of this particular person or this particular situation. The Page of Swords is a very, very unjust uh, a person or somebody that's very sneaky doing things behind your back and it's tied up your power completely because you're feeling very restricted it's also affected your finances as well and you are trying to tell this person to you know you're trying to put a stop to it you got this empress protecting what she, uh, is hers what she believes is hers and you're trying to get you know it's almost like damage control situation that you're going through now you're trying to get control back of that situation and you're telling people to back off right now there's still a lot of conflict that is going on you've got a decision to make over here um you know it looks like there might be a legal decision uh, there's something that has not come to light yet um so you need to uh, you know, all this, this person's got weapons in both hands. You've got people pulling at his legs over there. His eyes are covered. Um, so uh, it seems like, you know, the truth has not come to light over here. So before you, maybe before you rush into battle, you need to do some research and find out exactly what is going on. You need to get to the heart of the matter. And, uh, you know... Um, you have to be extra vigilant as well. So there's a big decision coming over here. And there could be a legal issue that needs to get sorted out as well. You've got the star card over here. So, um, you know, this is about um, um, guidance coming in. So it seems like there might be somebody that comes and brings you information. That information is going to come to light. Um, maybe to untie you from whatever is going on because it's very, very, it's a lot of drama and you've, your hands are tied in the situation. You've got the nine of wands. You've been uh, facing a lot of problems, a lot of battles. It's been one problem after the next. Uh, people are taking too much out of you. They're draining you completely, it seems. So on your mind or in your hopes and fears, you've got the moon card. So you're completely confused as to what to do over here. You're depressed, upset. You're not sleeping at night. You're very scared. Uh, you know, there's something hanging over your head. They've got you, uh, you know, at, at uh, down the barrel of a gun as they say you know they, they've got something on you that they're trying to control you with and you're having to fight quite a bit uh you know to get yourself um uh, heard even uh and it's a very disempowering situation that you are in at the moment it's like a lot of problems you've got the strength card over here coming in so 
you've got the weapons, you've got something, information, some information that you have that is going to be uh, instrumental in sorting through these problems. So these are bullets. Uh, whatever you have, uh, you've, got, um, you've got what it takes to actually fight this battle, uh, but you have to look deep within yourself or you have to do some research really to find out what it is you have on them so that they don't take advantage of you so you have some kind of weapon to fight this um the situation there's some kind of information that you have that you will be able to uh you know um be victorious in it and there's a lot of thinking that you have to do so a lot of research needs to be done and you need to think yourself out of the situation um You've got the Four of Wands coming in over there. If you do that, there's victory coming in over there. You can see there's a nice big cake there. Um, you'll be able to get through this project. So whatever drama you're going through, whatever is happening, once you start using your weapons, there's victory that is coming in for you over there. You might need to uh, liaise with a lot of people, uh, speak to a lot of people, get some input from them. Uh, maybe even people that are foreign to you, really, with that Four of Wands. But the Four of Wands is about stability coming in. So after all of this that comes in, this drama, uh, networking or speaking to people, collaborating with people, getting some advice from somebody and using all the weapons that you have or that some kind of important information that you have is going to help you be victorious in the situation over here. Because it brings about two fours. So it brings about stability in finances. Uh, and this is about um, retreating hanging on what to what you have and protecting what you have worked for but you have got at the end of the day you have got the uh, trump card there uh, you've got the upper hand even though you don't know it uh, with that strength card and those bullets and but you have to use your your um, uh, mind uh, your intelligence uh, and think your way out of the situation because you've got something on them that they don't even know uh, that you have so you have a weapon um, so even though they're coming at you uh, from all directions, um, you know, the universe has got the star card of here, so it's guiding you towards um, victory, really. Uh, but you have got that information locked within you. You need to un release it uh, in order for you to get that victory. And like I said, there's some kind of decision that you have to make, uh, but the truth needs to come to light first before you make that decision, so you do need to go and do that research. There is information that you have that you can use um, to improve the situation so that you are victorious, victorious in the situation. So going through a lot of problems, really. And you need to tell them to back off with that Empress card. You need to take a stand. Don't let anybody walk all over you because that's what they're doing at the moment. They have disempowered you completely, tied you up in, you know, you've got this tape going all around the body there. So where you thought you had power, it seems like they've taken it. And it's all because somebody's caused or stirred up a lot of problems. Huh. So the first card is, so I'm drawing some cards from the Think and Grow uh, deck. And um, three fell here, which is very interesting. It tells you to adapt to the situation, to plan and use your imagination. So you need to adapt uh, and... Um, it says you are trying to adapt yourself to nature's laws by endeavoring to convert desire into physical or monetary equivalent. You can do it. It has been done before. So you need to adapt. You need to change your game plan, really. Uh, this is what uh, the deck is saying. You need to make plans. So make sure that you are well planned up. Uh, and you have to find a plan that works. So if the, an old plan did not work out, if the first plan that you adopt does not work successfully replace it with a new plan um, and if the new plan fails to work replace it in turn with still another plan and so on until you find a plan that works so come up with some plans you need to sit down be logical think about it and make up some plans and use your imagination when you're doing it if you do not see great riches in your imagination, you will never then um, see it in your bank balance. So you've got to have the key or the solution to this problem. Use your imagination. Like this card, the strength card is saying, use your head. And you have got, and make some plans. Come up with new plans. If one doesn't work, look for something else. If that doesn't work, look for something else. And adapt to the situation. Change that your plans to suit that situation. Think outside the box as well. Use your imagination and you will be able to sort through this problem that you're going through because you're going through quite a big thing there. Um, and, you know, this is how you're going to deal with it. You need to adapt. 
I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, wolf pack and the first card is cleansing this card indicates letting go of the past going through a process of self-cleansing and self-awareness and the inner knowing develops bringing a new outlook look a new beginning so you're going to start something fresh but um get rid of the old uh, so um, you know if you feel that somebody's a snitch that you're working with sever ties with them don't um, keep old friends that are not serving you and uh, just be careful uh, you know people that you thought you could trust maybe the ones that are actually uh, causing all the problems because they're sneaking around behind your back and saying things that you didn't even know or stirring up problems that you didn't know the second one is obstacles you will encounter obstacles at this time the solution is not to expect defeat but to find answers rely on your inner strength to overcome the situation and you will become wiser by this experience so all the things that seem to be um against you right now you will be able to find solutions to this problem you have the strength to deal with it and the last card is the communication card which says good news from a distance communication about love or business you are open, open to new options or deals uh, a time of communication is established uh, with a friend or a loved one so there's new good news coming in for you over there um, you know there might be an offer of a new job as well opening up for you there so just uh, be on the lookout for some really good news coming in and um, uh, uh, open up channels of communication make sure that you are speaking to people network this is the thing that's going to bring in the change for you so adapt think out of the box make some plans uh, don't divulge secrets to anybody else um, and you have what it takes uh, to be able to sort through this do your research don't let this person sneak around behind your back stir up problems defend what you have worked for as well don't let them walk all over you and tell them you've had enough so i hope this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it hasn't thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye